Here's a tricky question for you. Which of these do you think converts better on WooCommerce? A conventional multi-stage checkout flow or a quick one pager? Allow me to illustrate this for you. A default WooCommerce store has at least three pages and many clicks for customers to make a purchase. But with a simple plugin, you can enable sales to be made directly on the store or product pages and greatly reduce the number of clicks to get there. I know which of these cases I prefer as a customer, but every case is unique. We do know from existing data that in certain situations, WooCommerce stores experience a huge boost in sales by simply speeding up their checkout process. Just consider these three examples. Imagine that you sell low priced or simple products. When customers are making a quick impulse purchase, a one page checkout helps them complete the transaction fast before abandoning. This also applies to time sensitive purchases, such as event tickets and travel deals. And for mobile optimized stores, one page checkouts tend to perform the best because with less scrolling, you reduce unnecessary friction. And there's even more examples listed in the description for those of you who are curious. For all these situations, the key is to create a frictionless path. And the rule of thumb is that favoring speed and clarity over length or detail can improve conversions overall. So now I'd like to show you how to set this up on your own site. And we need just one plugin called WooCommerce Fastcart, which you'll find linked in the description below. Note that there isn't a free trial as such. However, it does come with a 30 day money back guarantee, so you can test it out before committing to anything long term. Once you've purchased your copy, you'll get a zip file and a product key, which we'll use for the installation. Then on your WordPress site, go to plugins and click add new on the menu. Click the upload plugin button and drop the zip file here and click install. The setup wizard should launch, but if not, you can also access it from the plugin settings page here. The settings can always be updated later on, but let me show you how I would set it up for direct or one click checkout. The first thing you do is enter your license key and then click next. The next stage is to choose the layout of your cart button. You may choose a side or centered cart, and you may also choose where the floating cart icon will go. Then select the stages of the ordering process where Fastcart will become available. I recommend choosing both for the maximum functionality. Here you can select or deselect as many features as you would like. This is pretty inconsequential at the moment, but of course, playing around with this can really let you customize how your checkout looks. If you want to replace your entire cart or checkout page with Fastcart, you can do so here. For the demonstration, I'm going to have both of them checked. Then you can finish setup and go to the settings page. And from the settings page, there's one setting we need to update. Scroll down to direct checkout and check this box. Skip the cart and show the checkout immediately. Then you can also add this autocomplete if you have the Google API key for it. You can read more about this here. Now the rest is something that we already chose. You can customize the colors of all the different components on the cart. And remember that it's already set to replace the checkout page on your normal store. So if you don't want that to happen, you should uncheck this. Click save. Now let's take a look at what the plugin has added to our store. Here we're back on the shop page and I want to see what it looks like when the plugin is in action. So let's click add to basket. And immediately the checkout is going to pop up. We're going to have the option to add our billing details and boom, there we can place an order. And look, we haven't even left the shop page at any time. We can click out here and we're back to shopping. Now, of course, this is a very unique case where one item goes straight to the checkout. You can configure this plugin so it's a little bit less uh, in your face and will allow customers to check out quicker, but not pop up the checkout every time they add something to their basket. And here we have the floating cart down the bottom. We can set that to be in the middle or at the top. And when we click on that too, the checkout is going to pop up. Now, at the moment, we have it set up to completely skip the cart. 
So this is literally just showing us what we're about to buy and giving us the option to place the order. Now, I do have a couple of additional plugin recommendations, which are going to make this setup even better. The first one is the WooCommerce Express shop page plugin. Now I'm going to activate this and show you what this is going to do for my site. First of all, I can display quantity pickers on the shop and category pages. I can also display variations on the shop and category pages. And that's the plugin all set up. So let's see how that looks on our store. I'm going to refresh the page here. And immediately, the biggest difference you can see is this quantity picker. So I can add more items to my basket without having to leave the shop page. And if I come across a product with different options, I can choose the options right here. And I can choose to add that to the basket straight away. Now, the reason this is better is because if you have a few items to pick from, but people normally buy them in larger quantities, you don't want them to hit that add to basket button and only buy one. You want them to buy multiple. So you want to give them the option to do that straight from your store page. Another great plugin that you can add into this checkout flow is the WooCommerce Quick View Pro. Now I'm going to go back to my store. And with the Quick View Pro plugin all set up and working, I can quickly view any product and I can see the information about it before hitting Add to Basket. But you notice we're still on the same page as before. So by hitting the Quick View button, we can read descriptions, we can add quantities, and we can decide if this is the product that we want before adding it to the basket. But once again, once we hit that add to basket, we're going to go directly to the checkout with this setup. I'm just going to go back to the WooCommerce settings and click on the fast cart tab over here. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change the layout to a centered pop up. And I'm going to change this auto open so it won't automatically open up the cart as soon as somebody clicks on something. And I'm going to change this direct checkout. So we're not going to skip the cart anymore. I'm going to save those changes, go back to the store. Now let's see how it looks. If I click add to basket, it doesn't pop up immediately. But if I do open the cart, here we can see the fast cart has opened up the cart. And if I go checkout, now I can see the checkout. So there's still less steps, but this is more of a traditional setup using the fast cart method. Now that you have one click checkout set up on your site, I think you'd also be interested in learning how to set up this quick order form, which is great for wholesale businesses. I'll see you next time. And of course, thanks for watching.